हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क यू ओनली वन क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू सम सॉर्ट ऑफ सीक्वेंस जनरेशन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन अपीयर्स इन मोस्ट ऑफ द इंटरव्यूज एज पर अवर नॉर्म्स आई विल आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन एंड यू विल गेट टेन सेकेंड टू थिंक ऑफ इट लेट एस गेट स्टार्टेड Question number one is on your screen, where you have to propose a digital logic design to generate a pulse signal whenever a positive edge is detected on the input signal, as shown below. So this is the input signal. Whenever there is a positive edge detected on the output, your logic should generate a pulse. So this is the second positive edge on the input signal. So this is the pulse generated on the output signal. and your time starts now friends i will tell you two answers to approach this type of problem in the first method we simply put a flip flop after the input signal i usually name the output of this flip flop as underscore ff1 so this in underscore ff1 will be delayed by one clock cycle now we need to create a truth table where input ff1 and input signal will drive our expected output when in and in underscore ff both are zero zero output is zero when in underscore ff1 is 0 and in is 1 output is 1 when in underscore ff1 is 1 and in is 1 output is 0 when in underscore ff1 is 1 and in is 0 output is 0 from this truth table you can easily derive the expression of out signal we simply need to see wherever it is one so it is one only at one point from there only we will drive the expression of out signal so out is one at that point of time in underscore ff1 is zero so that means we simply need to put bar here in underscore ff1 bar into in because in is one here so this will be the final expression of out signal now it is very easy to draw its logic this in is going to the input of flip flop which gives output as in underscore ff1 as i already mentioned here now as per expression of out signal which is equal to in and bar of in underscore ff1 that means we need to put not gate you know and this and gate will drive the out signal friends let us discuss second approach this approach is a fsm based approach fsm means finite state machine so i will draw a finite state machine from the input and expected output i will recommend you to prefer mele state machine for example in this case if you select mur state machine it will have one extra state so it will require two flip flops for its implementation but in this case i am considering mele state machine so it has only two states and two states can be implemented with one flip flop so hardware and area will be less as compared to move state machine let us assume that our state machine is resting in state s0 and when input input is 0 we will remain in the state s0 and output will be 0 as soon as we detected the first positive edge so whenever input is going high i need my output to be high so i will make my output as high but i know my output need to be high for only one clock cycle i am changing my state to s1 so in s1 if my input remains high i need to be in a state s1 only because if i move it to s0 and in state s0 i will see my input as one only and again i will make my output one and again i will come to state s1 so continuous train of uh, pulses will be created 
but that is not my requirement. For each positive edge of the input signal, I need my output to be high. I don't want any pulse in the middle. So I will stay in the S1 state only till my input is high. When my input goes zero, I will come back to S0 so that on the next positive edge, I can again give one pulse signal. Friends, from this state machine, it is very easy to realize its hardware. So I'm going to explain you how. From the state machine, we need to draw its excitation table. In excitation table, we give present state, input and next state. Basically, excitation table means how the inputs need to be excited so that we can get the next state from the present state. So as we have only two states in this state machine, so that means it can be implemented using one flip-flop. So let us say the output of that flip-flop is Q and we name it as present state. And this is input signal. Q plus is the next state. When present state is zero, zero means S zero and input is zero. So what is my next state? When present state is zero and input is zero, my next state is also zero. When present state is zero and input is one, Plan state is 0, input is 1, my next state is 1, 1 means S1. When my plan state is 1, that means S1, and input is 0, my next state is 0. When my plan state is S1, input is 0, my next state is 0. And when my plan state is 1, input is 1, my next state is also 1. So to get this next state, and to get this next state, if I am using D flip-flops, D should be equal to this only. When I want next state to be 0, my D should be 0. When I want my next state to be 1, my D should be 1. And so on. Now let us also draw the column for output. When my prime state is 0 and input is 0, what is my output? Prime state is 0, input is 0, output is 0. When my prime state is 0, input is 1. Prime state is 0, input is 1, output is 1. So when my prime state is 1, input is 0, prime state is 1, input is 0, output is 0. When my prime state is 1, input is 1, output is 0. So this is the column for output. Now let us see the expression of D and out. Now D is 1 at two places, here and here. And it is a function of prime state and input. So here it will be Q bar into input plus it is also one here. Q into in. Now in is common and Q bar plus Q will become one only. So we can easily reduce its expression to input. And now output. Output is one only at one place. Here Q bar and into in will be expression for out. Now this will be my final circuitry which is similar to the solution number one. If I want to uh, get my output, which is equal to Q bar, that means I have to put not gear here and add it with input, add it with input. That will be my output. I got the same hardware as I got with the approach number one. With this, I'm going to end this episode. Hope all of you would have liked this video. If you like my video, please press the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. And to have the notification of similar videos, do not forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.